Hey y'all, real deal, Why is it Akins. Here we got Bronco Sport action. Pretty simple covert upgrades here. We got different tires, added a crossbar roof rack on the, the one in the rear, but we got a couple different wheel variations and we put the white walls on one. So I just wanna show you quickly what we got going on to help improve the overall looks of uh, your Bronco Sport, hopefully right here at Akins and Why Willys, y'all. So uh, a huge difference, a Big Ben 2021 Bronco Sport. Essentially, I like this wheel the best of the 17s more so than that one there. I think it just fits the overall vibe. That wheel looks good more so on a white Bronco Sport. I think the, the gray, the gunmetal gray looks better on all the rest of the colors, uh, in my opinion, besides doing it black like we've done some also. We do powder coat these wheels black as well, so keep that in mind if you want to go all black. We can do an aftermarket wheel or just do a powder coat job on it. So. 245, 65, 17, Toyo Open Country, AT3, a great tire, uh, great longevity, but gives you more confidence while off-roading. But, but the biggest thing is, y'all, it just looks more like an off-road vehicle. So that's the sweet spot and what we're trying to achieve in that because let's be honest, the street tires on these Bronco Sports, you always tell me, real deal, what's up with the Bronco? Well, this is not the real Bronco, it's the baby Bronco, but it's still very capable off-road and we can do things to it, hence some uh, small upgrades to make it look like it should or like what you think it should and be more capable off-road and just give you more confidence in totality. So uh, I like this one, turned out very nicely on the Big Ben, a little bit higher price points uh, on the Big Ben. They start out right around 29.8, uh, and kind of go up from there. So moving on to the next, we've got the carbonized with the uh, alloy looking wheel and did the same tire size on it. So this is a 29.6 tall. Um, so it's about, about a half an inch taller essentially and then a half an inch wider as well on a 17 inch wheel. And then we've, uh, this is a sport model here. We did WeatherTech floor mats on the inside also y'all to really just kind of uh, cap it off for some nice convenience features that you know most of our customers act for, ask for and expect. Now let me know what you think about this one. Another big bin and carbonized that we did the white walls on the outside. Now I think this makes it look really cool, sporty and off-road uh, honestly y'all. So there's essentially the same color combo, different wheel obviously, but uh, white walls in and white walls out here. So let me know what you think on the white walls out on this combination, again, 245, 65, 17. I like this wheel. Our, our personal thought process is white walls are okay putting them out if you have the white lettering like you got on this one. So they also have the black lettering on certain packages. So if it has the white lettering, I think the white letters out is a pretty cool compliment and just kind of adds to the overall appeal. Now this is from Ford, the cross members for the cargo rack or luggage rack that's offered from Ford. We wanted to put those on there just to show you guys some variations. It does stick up kind of tall, but if, it's, if you're needing that functionality, that's a great go-to option for you. So this video, y'all, was just gonna be a quick one to show you what some tire action can do for it. And then, you know, the interiors, I like the interiors uh, quite a good bit on the, the Bronco Sports. And they spent some time off-road and on-road with these. They are capable off-road, more so than you would think. But to me, they look like that 2012 Ford Escape. So if you know what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up for that one. But just look how much more rugged they look than in the stock form. Just some tire action. It's really all you need to get your, your build started and then you can kind of go crazy from there. They also make an inch and a half level kit that we have available that you could add to it to just make it look even more rugged and off-road, but this is a good start and we're offering these for sale. These are about to hit the lot as of June 4th, 2021 at Aikens and Wild Willys. Y'all, thanks for watching. Peace out.